what are you guys doing here? First of all, how did you get inside my closet? I'm painting my nails. And if I'd known you were coming, I surely would have looked more presentable. <laughs> You're right. Like I didn't know you were coming, because if I didn't know you were coming, I sure as heck wouldn't look like this. Well, since you're here, let's talk. Welcome to what I like to call Good Enough Mother World's headquarters, AKA the walk-in closet. It's the only place I can be alone, and even then, it's questionable. I guess we could consider this a show from my closet. And yes, it's a real working closet. Don't you see the hair dryer? Don't you see the scarves? The light? It's really a working closet. All right, so I want to talk to you about five really important conversations that you should be having with your kids. Don't worry that you're going to be embarrassed. Don't worry that they're going to be embarrassed. Better talk about the elephant in the room than the consequences later. Number one would probably be the one that you think I'm thinking of, and the one that I'm thinking of is sex. Everybody asks, when did you have the sex talk with your kids? I don't think the sex talk is one talk. I think it's a series of talks. And you do it in age-appropriate fashion. Whew. That's out of the way. How about conversations about things like marriage, divorce, shacking up? And the shacking up thing, you know, that's all related to that other stuff we talked about. With little kids, you can explain what it is you believe. With teenagers, I think it's important to ask, what do you think about this? And speaking of questions with teenagers, don't just say, how was school? Because this is what you're going to get. Did you say something? Ask questions that have some specificity to them. You know what else I would do? I would tell my teenagers, no matter how uncomfortable it made them, what I love about them. And then I'd ask them what they love about me and pray there is something. And lastly, Ask them what they want to talk about, and then listen. From good enough mother to you, I don't think you need to make them a big production. Just talk, and good luck. Remember, everybody, you don't have to be perfect, just good enough.